All right, welcome back to AGOD Civil War II. I'm Charles, and today we're going to look at some of our historical options. Um, again, we're in our second tutorial series, and we have, we're kind of moving right along. Um, we're going to look at quite a lot. And now we've come to the point where it wants us to take a quick look at um, historical options. So one of the great things about um, AGOD's games is that it really tries to promote historical gameplay. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the strategic atlas um, and you can do that by clicking here on uh, the book or we can um, press where we want to go so we can go to f3 um, uh, actually sorry we already looked at that before so we're going to go to f4 um, so all of this and i'm going to move that up so you can see but all of these below this is all part of the strategic at um, strategic atlas so f4 is the treasury um, and then in these different, um, different, uh, you could say Department of Treasury options, um, allows us to do different historical decisions. One of them would be, for instance, to move the capital. Um, that actually happened for the Confederacy. It was moved a couple times, um, actually a few times, one in the very beginning and then, and then a couple times at the very end. And of course, as you're playing the game, you're probably going to need um, more money. Uh, issuing war bonds is one way. Um, you can always print. You can always just print money, and you can also simply try to raise taxes. All of them have. Um, well, all of them are going to get you some money, and they just have different, uh, different, really generally negative impacts um, depending on what you choose. War bonds tends to be the cheapest way to do it. Um, you're going to spend some victory points. You can see here it's 25, and you're going to have some um, some inflation. So. If you want that, if you say, okay, I want to issue war bonds, you just left click and now you can see uh, President Jefferson Davis has signature has appeared. And this, so this would give us $400,000. If you need more money, um, you can print money. And so we click on that and that'll give us another $400,000. Um, and this time the inflation is more, it's 3%. And finally, if you still need more money, you could you could raise taxes. This is usually a last resort, and one of the reasons why is because it um, this one actually reduces morale. And I know I've mentioned it a few times in the game, but um, American Civil War really the ability for your nation to fight a lot of it has to do with morale. And so be very very careful when you make decisions like that that reduce morale, especially two. So it's, it's a substantial loss. Um, Generally, players find it, at least me personally too, most advantageous to just try to only issue war bonds and then print paper uh, money as needed. And then raising taxes is just an absolute last resort. Uh, moving your capital is also, um, it's quite costly. Um, five morale. So it's, it's it, you know, that's also a last resort. Um, there's another option here in F5. Actually, we, since we're in the tutorial, nothing has become become available yet. Oops, let's go back, go back one. But um, we'll have different options to to do some uh, industrialization. Um, I do want to go back to F3 because, and then look at the Department of War one. Um, currently, we have the option to increase the rail pool and increase the river pool. You might remember if you watched the first tutorial series that I said. As you're using your rail and river pool, you're going to be um, basically reducing the capacity. So periodically, you'll need to go here to build that back up. Um, let's see. Yeah. F6. Okay. Department of State. You're going to probably you're going to be in here as well. Um, and uh, if you're the Confederacy, typically your most common action is to do what actually happened in history and that is to declare a complete cotton embargo doing that improves some um morale three that's quite a bit it does cost you money of course as you're reducing your revenue um and you gain a few victory points if you are very very close to um if you're very very close to uh, having foreign foreign intervention to sort of push England and France over the edge, you do have the option to offer trade concessions or promise territorial concessions. Um, both of those are costly as far as morale goes. Here, this one costs two morale, and 
and um, this one costs five morale. But if you're right on the cusp of, of having four on intervention, um, it could be something you would consider. 